Diana J. Brody here from NLE Academy, and today we've got a quick one. Find Bin versus Reveal in Project. Let's be all about it. Okay, we're going to start with Avid today. In Avid, it's called Find Bin. In Premiere, it's called Reveal in Project. So let's start with Avid, and we're going to find Bin for a clip that's already in our timeline. Let's say, for the sake of argument, I know that there's a clip near this clip right here that, um, let me turn on my little mouse, near this clip right here, uh, that, uh, that I want to use next. And I'm like, oh, what bin is that in? Instead of having to think about what bin it's in, I can simply do find bin, find bin. In Avid, you're gonna need to use find bin plus match frame. You use match frame first, then find bin. If I was to do find bin right here on, on this clip right here, let's say I did a find bin, and I'm going to show you how to get to that. That's just going to call up the timeline that I'm on, the sequence that I'm on, right? It's not going to call up the clip in the bin. It's going to call up the sequence in the sequence bin. So what we want to do is we want to find what bin this clip is in, right? So first and foremost, we need to go ahead and grab a couple of things from the command palette. So I'm going to do command three. You can also come up here to tools and go all the way down to the command palette here. Uh, but under command three from a button to button reassignment, you want to grab find bin. Now look, you can always put it right here. Uh, you can put it right here, actually. You would want to put it on the source side, not the timeline side. Uh, but I highly suggest that you map it to your keyboard. So here's match frame, right? You're going to need match frame. So match frame I have on F. I have it on my Premiere keyboard as F as well. I believe it gives it to you natively on F in Premiere. Uh, but you'll have to map it to your keyboard uh, in, uh, in Avid. Uh, and I would map them right next to each other. So match frame for me is F and find bin is D. So I can go FB, FD rather, D as in dog, FD, right one, one right after the other. Uh, you can put match frame uh, on, on your source side and then put your find bin, right? Just by dragging it, button to button reassignment, just drag it out, right? Find bin and then match frame if you wanted to go that route right? If you wanted to button around. Uh, but I would absolutely map them to your keyboard uh, because they're going to be so useful. I use them constantly. So here I am on, on this clip and we're looking at my neighbor Denny and I want to find that bin. I can't, as I showed you just before, just hit find bin because of course it just calls up the sequence. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to do match frame. So I'm going to hit F for match frame and that throws it up here on the source side. Then from the source side, I'm going to hit D or you can hit that find bin right there. And that's going to reveal it in the bin. D. Boom. There it is. Called it up. Class six footage multicam iPhone. There we go. That's our clip. So that is how you do that. Uh, if I want to find this sunflower, F match frame, D find bin. There it is, the sunflower clip. And then I can say, okay, no, what I wanted was the clown. And I knew that the clown was in the sunflower bin. So I could just double click and get to that. Super easy, super fast. Now you don't need to actually always go from the timeline side in Avid. You can also go directly from your source side, right? So if I have, let's say, uh, there we go. If I have this angle and let's say I know that somewhere within this bin is the other angle and I want to find the other angle of it, right? So we're in, we can be in any other bin, right? Let's be, here we are in the project side of things. Here we are in the project side of things. So you can be in any bin whatsoever, right? Over here, doesn't matter because it's gonna find it for you. But let's say I clicked around and I'm like, ah, I want the other angle. What bin was that in? I can just go ahead and I'm gonna hit D. You can hit this icon right here. And I'm gonna hit D from here and it's gonna call it up in the bin right from the source side. So you can be on the timeline side and do match frame, then hit find bin and it calls it up right for you right there. Or you can go from here and say, oh, well, I wanna get to something else from here and I'm just gonna go 
find bin. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Let's put it so it, you get a better visual. I'm going to hit find bin and then boom, it's going to show you where it is. Call that bin up right there and show you where that clip is. So you can go either from match frame, find bin, or you can do, uh, you can do right from the bin itself, right from the source side itself rather, and hit find bin and it will call it up for you. Of course, things work a little bit differently in Premiere. Join me. All right, here we are on the Premiere side. Welcome. And we are looking at my cousin Barack and his old dog Flurry. Rest in peace was a great dog. Uh, okay, so instead of find bin, right? We're going to use what's called reveal in project here on the premiere side. You can do this a couple of ways. Of course, I'm sure it comes as a surprise to nobody that I have mapped it to my keyboard. So follow the bouncing ball. Let's go up here to the premiere pro pull down to, uh, to keyboard shortcuts. And, uh, we're going to type in here, reveal in, uh, project. So I've mapped it to two different places within the keyboard shortcuts, right? So I've mapped it to the source monitor panel, reveal in project to shift F, and I've mapped it to the timeline panel, reveal in project, shift F, same function, works on both, works for both. So it's gonna give you, uh, since it's already mapped to one, when I want to map it to the other one, uh, it gave me a little warning. You don't have to worry about that warning. You can say, okay, and it will work on both places. So, uh, the same keyboard shortcut. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do it using the keyboard shortcuts in one second, but here's the other way you can do it really quickly. I'm going to follow the bouncing ball down to the clip. If I want to find this clip in the bin, I'm going to right click on it and go to reveal in project, reveal in project all the way down at the bottom of this pull down. When I hit that, it calls up the bin that it's in, interview 2020, and it calls up the exact clip right there. It will work even if it's in any of the views, right? So if I go here and I click reveal in project, boom, there it is. It will call it up and show you where it's at, no matter which view you're in, doesn't matter. Any of these views will work. Uh, and the same, right? So if I'm over here in the source and I want to find the source to where Flurry's clip is, I can right click, come right here to reveal in project, and it will call it up in the bin right there. There it is. And it'll do it whether it's on the, uh, the list view, or the different views right here. But uh, personally, what I like to do better is I don't like to right click, find where it is. I can never remember where it is in this pull down menu anyway. So I just have it on, uh, on Shift F. So here in Premiere, unlike Avid, you don't have to do find uh, match frame. You don't have to match frame it and then do find bin or reveal in project you can simply uh, reveal it in the project from the timeline or the clip side. So as you saw before, I mapped it to Shift F. So watch, when I'm here, I'm gonna do sh Shift F. <laughs> she has made it really difficult to do this task. Shift F, and there it is, and it calls it up right there, right? And of course, uh, same as I just showed you, it will also Shift F, call it up in any view you want. And that's the same, by the way, in Avid, right? We'll call it up in any view. So if you're in thumbnail view or list view, doesn't matter. And the same here. So I can come up here to Flurry, right? I'm clicked on the source side now, not on my timeline. And I can do Shift F, boom, and there it is. It calls up Flurry right there. She takes exception to the use of a dog in a video. And that's it. Find bin in Avid, reveal in project in Premiere, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you've got a question about how to do something in Avid because you're a Premiere user or how to do something in Premiere because you're an Avid user, leave me a comment down below. I can hit that for you next time. Hope you liked it as much as I like bringing it to you. There you go. Hey, 
If you're finally ready to master Avid and double your job and income opportunities, I've got a class for that. Click the link below in the description and use the coupon code YouTube24 to get 15% off on this course. Let's demystify Avid together.